Yeah, check out the love on display outside this lab library that was hosting a drag queen story time hour. Unbelievable. <laughs> something out here there were cops everywhere everywhere and people are getting assaulted in the streets pinned up against the windows and beaten but also look at those cameras of the mainstream media yep. they're pointed at all of this did the mainstream media point uh, did they report anything of this no what they said is uh scuffles break out at a dem or at a drag queen demonstration no counter protesters were beaten yeah. by the peace and love love wins crowd they're chanting about love across the street while innocent people who are peacefully expressing their political views are being beaten on vancouver streets the cops aren't doing a damn thing about it and the mainstream media are lying um we had to have security there for drea and matt we should have more security for them next yeah. time because things got really violent they had to get extracted from the uh, event for their own safety, people want to chip in. That's journalistdefensefund.com. But look at this. Sorry, I'll shut up so you can watch these people being shoved and there's cops doing absolutely nothing because they're worried about escorting a drag queen out to the car like she's friggin' Maduro. Incredible. Sheila, I want to say how offended I am by some of these Antifa types for merely having the uh, pride flag, the old pride flag, uh, not the new pride flag with that. I think it's the trans right. the BIPOC uh, <laughs> vagina. I think it's supposed to be a, a transsexual vagina or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but boy, are they ever Look behind the time. Look at the mainstream media catching all of this. Yep. I hope to God their footage is subpoenaed by these people when they press charges. I agree, but you know what? That tells you something, doesn't it, Sheila? The fact that these thugs are not going after the mainstream media. No, because, of course not. Yeah, that's their propaganda arm. Why would they do they, that? They did this stuff to me, the mainstream media. Yeah. Uh, I forget his name because he's so inconsequential, but he was a journalist for CP, a video, a video journalist, a photojournalist for CP. I forget his name, but I know he hate watches me. So let me tell you, I forgot your name because you are an inconsequential person on the media <laughs> landscape. But when I was punched and had my camera punched into my face by the male feminist Dion Buse at DionBuse.com oh, yeah. at the Women's March, the camera gets punched into my face, but it's still rolling. And as I go home and I'm watching the footage of this, I can see that a CP journalist is taking pictures of me being punched. None of those videos or, and the photographs made it to publication until we reached out to CP and said, first of all, we said, you know, like, where's your 
you guys were there. Where, where your, where's your footage of this? Where, yeah. Why isn't it in the story? And they said, oh, there was nothing usable. And I, then I said, no, we can see you taking dozens, if not hundreds of pictures yep. in our own footage. Where are those photos? And then all of a sudden, they're produced and they're everywhere. Yep. So they were, this journalist was actually willing to bury and financially harm himself because you don't really make money unless you sell a, uh, a picture. He was willing to take money out of his own pocket and sit on that footage because he hated me so much.